Across the country, about 13,000 member, uh, members of the United Auto Workers Union stopped making cars and went on strike at midnight. Their union is under contract negotiations with uh, Detroit's big three automakers, General Motors, Ford, and Stellantis. Earlier this hour, Fox 61's Lindsey Kane showed you some of the workers hitting the picket lines here in our state. So for more details on their demands and what contract negotiations will entail. I'm happy to have a uh, uh, distinguished lecturer and human resource expert Maurice Kayer from the University of New Haven joining us now. Mr. Kayer, good morning to you. How are you? Great. Glad to be here. Thank you. And glad to uh, benefit from your knowledge here. Uh, our understanding is that this is the first time in the 88-year history of the union that it walked out on all three of those companies at the same time. Normally, they would just strike against one, get a new contract, and then use that for contract talks with the other two companies. So, first of all, why the change, and how is that going to change the negotiating terms? Yes, well, uh, uh, you've said it well. Uh, they've used that uh, uh, pick a company first and then uh, uh, get them to go on their hands and knees and then model that or the other uh, big three, com other big two or big three companies. So the w they're doing this now because they feel they have a lot of leverage. Uh, there's a tight labor market in the U.S. and the automakers are flush with cash and profits. Uh, the UAW, United Auto Workers Unions, feel that um, executives have been squirreling away a lot of that money engaged in stock buybacks and so on. So they feel that this is a way to uh, target all three at the same time, although you might call it kind of a soft start. Uh, there's a belief fairly widely held that it's not going to uh, be protracted months, for example. It's going to likely be settled in weeks. And uh, this is a soft, st soft start. If there's not much progress between uh, management, the automakers, and the UAW negotiators, you know, they're going to ramp it up. It's going to spread to some other uh, plants as well, but at least they have uh, a foot in the door now and they could use that yeah. to monitor their negotiations. Yeah, it seems like they're taking the incremental approach, but instead of just doing it one automaker at a time and trying right. three strikes to get three chances at incremental gains, now they're just incrementally ratcheting up the pressure. Like you said, maybe starting to target more specific plants and areas first and adding others later. What do you think of that strategy just in terms of uh, how it might work? I mean, I know we don't have crystal ball. Well, it, it spreads the pain a little bit, right? And uh, it's not uh, disproportionately impacting only workers at General Motors or Ford or Stellantis. So it has that going for it. In other words, it, it has broader support among the UAW members, which is something that they have to be concerned about, you know? Yeah. And the uh, UAW members are more likely to say, yeah, let's, let's proceed. We're behind you. Right. Uh, now, one of the things they're looking for is, uh, I should say, not one, two. First of all, a 40% raise. And then they want to work 32 hours for that 40-hour rate. And they're not even offering any counter proposals to what the big three are trying to propose for them. So uh, normally, you know, it, sometimes you, you wind up with a, an out there starting point and the idea is to negotiate back. But if they're not counter negotiating, is, is that a feasible position for them to be taking? Well, it's you know it's still we're, we're we're we've only begun the strikes you know it's only happened, and uh, as I heard one picketer say this morning, you know what, we ask for the world and we settle on a country, meaning everybody knows that they're going to ask for the sun, the moon, the stars, and they're going to settle on something else. Now they've asked for many more things in addition to the forty percent pay. They've asked for cost of living adjustments. They've asked for job security. They've asked for the elimination of the tiered labor system, and as you say, a thirty-two week system, no, uh, a thirty-two hour work week. Nobody thinks that they're going to get the thirty-two hour week week work week. You could almost consider it as a throwaway. Okay, we'll concede on this. Uh, but we we still want okay thirty dollars a thirty percent increase right yeah put something on the table with the intent that that's the one thing you can take away right there's that old saying you don't get what you deserve you get what you negotiate so that's just uh, one of those tactics all right Mr Kayer thank you so much we are out of time but we certainly appreciate your expertise and taking the time to join us here this early on a Friday morning.
Thank you very much. Enjoyed it. Thank you.